Welcome back, Vikings, to the last installment of our Ancient Maya DBQ, where we are discussing the remarkable achievements and what made them so remarkable of the ancient Mayans. This is the fourth one. You know what we're doing. So today we are talking about the Mayan number system. It's pretty amazing for one specific reason, and we'll get into that. So a little bit of background information. In a positional number system like we currently use in the United States and the world we live in today, the digits are given special names. All larger numbers are written in a sequence of digits, with each one representing units of a larger value. So we have the ones digit, we have the tens digit, the hundreds, and each one getting larger. We know if we have three digits in a row, that that's some hundred numbers. If we have six digits in a row, it's hundreds of thousands of numbers. If we have seven digits, it's millions, right? You get what I'm saying? So in our um, number system, it's a positional number system, each place has its own value. I know that you know place value. In recording dates, the Maya adopted a base 20 positional number system. We talked about how their months were 20 days long. Every, every number really focused around 20 for the Maya. All of their numbers related back to systems of 20, not 10 like ours. Our systems, aside from measuring, relate back to a um, system of 10. Theirs was, had a base 20. So here's some images. And uh, you know what? Actually, let's just get right into it. Positional number systems cannot function without a symbol for zero. For example, in our own decimal system, we could not tell the number 105 from the number 15 without the use of a zero. So this example is 8,300,071, right? We couldn't, without the number zero, it would just be 8,371. We wouldn't have these zeros in the middle. They, there would be nothing there to show that even though we don't have any hundreds or thousands or ten thousands, that those place values still exist. We need the zero to be able to show the space between the hundred thousands and the tens. Do we get that? Good. However, even though the Maya used a symbol for zero to show when a place was empty, they did not use zero in the modern way. They didn't use it for calculations, for mathematics at all. It was just simple, simply to show that there was a zero in that place value. So let's take a look at their numbers, their number system, how they wrote their numbers. They used the symbol of the shell to represent zero. One was one dot, two was two dots, three, three dots, four, four dots, and then a five was represented by a bar. And then it just kept going on like that. So a six was a five plus a one. A nine was a five plus four ones. A 10 was two bars two fives, right? Okay. Another thing that the Mayan system, another thing that made the Mayan system difficult to use for calculations was that the symbols for single digits, zero to 19 were single digits, were not all single symbols. Like we just said, two is two dots. Seven is a bar in two dots, right? We see how this works? Okay. Many of the numbers were written with combinations of symbols, so this created a source of potential confusion. Um, you know, what? actually, let's go to the document itself. Okay, so you have your document in front of you now. Let's read the note first. We write numbers using a system in which the value of each digit depends on its position within the number. The digit furthest to the right stands for ones, the next digit to the left stands for tens, so on. You know how place value works in our number system. This type of system cannot work without a symbol for zero to show when a position is empty. The Maya used a positional system based on the number 20 rather than the number 10, and they were one of the first cultures in the world to develop the idea of zero, especially as a placeholder. So like I was saying before, the Maya only used three signs. They used the dot to represent one, 
the bar to represent 5 and the shell to represent 0. So numbers 0 through 19 were written exactly like this. Pause if you need more time to look at it. Just as with our decimal system, based on 10, we move one column to the left when we reach 10. So the Maya system, based on 20, they moved rung, one rung upwards when they reached 20. So this is how they wrote 20. They didn't do five bars on top of each other because that would be 5, 10, 15, 20. What they did was they did zero, but two levels of it. So there's one, zero. That shows that there's 20. It's a little bit confusing. Let's look at some other options. The numbers 21 to 25 were written like this. So because it's a one, it shows us that it's a one two times. And then we've got 20. Anytime that it's a number stacked on top of a number, that shows that it's 20. If it's three numbers, that would be 30, right? So we've got two dots to show that the, um, the ones place is two, and then it's two stacked vertically, so that shows us that it's 20. Again, two stacked on top of each other shows us that it's 23. Two stacked on top of each other, 24. And then that bar shows us the ones place is a 5, 25. 40 would be written like this. Two dots. So we've got the two vertical again. That shows us that it's 20. But there's two of them. So 20 times 2, we've got two dots on the second rung, shows us that it's 40. 5 times, we've got 5 on the top rung shows us that it's five times, and then the two rungs is 20. And then five times 20, same as before, plus one dot is 101. I get if you are super confused by this. Y'all, it has taken me a long time to figure it out, and I still don't have it perfectly. That's okay. Let's look at answering our questions. How about that? I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint for this. So question number one, what number was the Mayan number system based around? Now, this is different from our civilization today, right? We have 10 meter, uh, centimeters in a That's not right. We have 100 centimeters in a meter. We have, um, we have a base 10 system. They do not have a base 10, did not have a base 10 system. What number was their system based around? Pause the video to answer the question. Number two, what symbol did the Maya use for zero? What symbols did they use for one and for five? Learners, make sure you are answering in complete sentences. You were in middle school. The expectation is you do not just say this, this, this. You actually write it into a sentence. Number three, this is going to be fun. How did the Maya write the following numbers? How did they write zero? That's an easy one. How did they write five? You know what? I make I take a lot of time to make these videos. I don't think people watch them. Like definitely not nearly enough to do the time that it takes. So I'm just gonna give you the answers. Thank you for like validating my time and effort learners. So a zero written by a shell. A seven, not a five, it's a seven, is the bar and two dots. 26, remember it's that two levels, right? So we are gonna have the, um, the bar and a dot to show that the ones place is a six, and then the two levels of it to show that it's 20, right? Don't skip ahead. Challenge yourself. See if you can figure out you have on your paper numbers one through 25, right? So if this is how you write 25 and that's how you write 24, how would you write 26? Challenge yourself, pause the video. I hope you got it. And then I'm not gonna give you the answer to this one. How do you write your age? 
whether you're 12, 11, 10, 42, how do you write your age? And as always, the most important of question, nope, I lied. Actually, this is a really important question because it helps us answer our essential question at the end. Why was it so important to have a symbol for zero? Remember, the Maya were the first um, Western civilization, I say Western, Western Hemisphere civilization, the first in Mesoamerica, the first in the, not in the world, but yeah, anyways, I'm rambling. The Maya were one of the first civilizations to come up with zero for place value. And remember, we talked about how you could not have those huge numbers. You couldn't show those huge numbers without that zero place number. So why was that so important? What did that help them do? Which leads us into our last question, the essential question. Using the measuring stick of genius, so how brilliant or how cutting edge or how new and smart something was. Using the measuring stick of genius, describe what is remarkable about the Mayan number systems. Okay? If you need help, as always, please do not hesitate to ask. I know the number system can be a little bit confusing if you are not used to it, but we are here to help. Be good people. Make good choices. Go Vikings.